I know you've got a lot of thoughts about this, and um, it, it goes back to the uh, Richard Brooks case in the sense of, I've been looking through this, and this is another one. I am deeply concerned about uh, how this outcome is going to play out. Um, mm -hmm. There's conflicting autopsy reports. There's a lot of chatter of he did everything he was supposed to do, um, such things as um, George really wasn't, choking like we all can clearly see he was. Uh, he may have had some heart issues because of what was going on and maybe some drugs in his system. Are you concerned at all uh, that these guys might walk and what might happen after this? I, all the things that you mentioned have no relevance, in my opinion, as to what was done to George Floyd. Um, George Floyd was murdered. His life was taken. I mean, we cannot deny that. So if he is not, I, I do not, in this particular instance, um, when I look at that police officer, my heart is angry. And I had to really work on my um, composure. Um, I was sad. I was angry. I was frustrated. I was overwhelmed. And I had to shift that to, cause I love the Lord. I want to have him abide in me to work on my heart. Uh, any reasonable person would know that that police officer, um, did the most heinous thing. And when someone say that was like, you know, that was a death penalty on the streets. He, that was death, that was, he just instituted the death penalty. Um, whether you, I mean, there was too much time. Eight minutes, 46 seconds for us to just sit there and watch that. But I do not care what the autopsy report says. I don't care what his previous conditions was, where, of course, that's what the council is going to bring up. But any reasonable person looking at that would definitely say there was that was not necessary. So if he does, you mean like he let go? Is that what you're asking me? I, 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 I God, think if he does, we will have a war on our hands. You, you believe that? Are you not seeing what's going on in the streets right now? I'm just um, ask, I'm asking you. So let me just tell you, let me just tell you this and just give you a little history lesson. In 1968, when Martin Luther King was killed. Martin Luther King had spent so much time with the Poor People's Campaign to try and put into place a lot of things that we're trying to do and other advocates are trying to do with police reform. And he had spent a lot of time talking to Lyndon Johnson, our president, about these changes. When Martin Luther King was killed in 1968, it was in April of 1968, the riot, there were riots that happened across these United States. And when Lyndon Johnson was in Air Force One, he looked down and he said, oh my gosh, this looks like Vietnam War. You want to know the same thing is going to happen if that happens with these police officers. So you better get ready because what happened seven days after Martin Luther King was killed, do you know what law that was put in place that Martin Luther King had worked so hard on? It was called the Fair Housing Act. The Fair Housing Act basically said that you cannot discriminate on the basis of race, color, gender, you know, um, national or origin, uh, sex in the area of housing. We had a lot of people who were against it, but he knew he had to put that in place in order to give African Americans an understanding that their voices are being heard. So if that happens, I guarantee you, we will be in a different country, just like we were in 1968. We're only getting a little kind of appetizer of what's going on. And people are, we've seen some, some um, things go a little awry, but that's my opinion. Uh, I, I, I hope you're right. I, I absolutely hope you're right that he, uh, the officers are convicted and charged with what they should be charged. But I think there's going to be an attorney or a group of attorneys that are going to look at this. They're going to look at the police protocol and they're going to be able to make a case that, hey, man, the officer was just doing what he's is taught to do. And you can't convict this guy. I, well, I, I, I worry about saw, it. I don't know if you saw 60 Minutes when yeah. the Minneapolis um, uh, police director or he's the um, 
you know, the head police, person. Police chief. chief. I couldn't think of what his name is. It's okay. What the title is. Police chief was on there saying that that was not correct. He's, you know, yes, there is. They did allow those, you know, the, um, that procedure, but the way in which it was done was not correct. Yeah. So he even agreed with that. So, you know, I, I think that those are the kinds of things where you have to look at that. And, um, so I, I believe that they should, he should receive the highest, um, conviction. Yeah, no. And I think, I think Diana, he's also going up the police chief that you're talking about is going up against the police union. And I would say this to anyone, good luck with that because they're not going to budge on this. Police unions, some unions, you know, I'm come from a, my, both my parents are blue collar union family. My mom was a union steward. We know that unions protect can, can protect bad behavior. Um, and so there's, there's, there's unions everywhere, but we have to recognize what's right is right. And until we're willing to recognize that and listen to the voice of the people and come up with a way that people are treated as humans, um, not as dogs or less than the population, that's not the right of the police officers to, you know, use that type of authority on the streets where that's why we have a legal system that we have these people go through. Um, so there we go. No more roach on Florida TV.